Google Cloud Beginner Tutorial 2023 host and set up a free website. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. In this video, we're going to be talking about, you know, how you're going to go through all the main integrate free things of making a Google Cloud, okay? And in this Google Cloud, obviously we're going to go and host and set up a free website for ourselves. It's totally free, it's totally amazing, and it's totally useful so to walk ourselves through this what we're going to do is we're going to come over to cloud.google.com okay and there's different loads of things where you can conduct an assessment so all of these options uh they're paid so and if they gave us you know you could say 300 dollars free in credit it would be amazing but you know do we actually want to go with that is the question now moving on you can also go to different google cloud products that you can get for yourself and these featured products you have compute engine cloud storage BigQuery, Cloud Run, Looker, Vertex AI Platform, you know, Kubernetes Engine, Cloud SQL, Cloud SDK, Cloud CDN, etc. So these are running workloads of free credit products that you have for yourself. And it's really incredible to get these products for yourself. And the brief overview that you get of Google Cloud is pretty easy. Okay. Now, once you're signed in with your account, you can actually find different pricings for the Google Cloud pricing tool, okay? So if you go come over to Google Cloud pricing or the Compute Engine pricing, for example, you can see over here, start running workloads for free, $300 in free credits, 20 plus free products, only pay for what you use, save up to 57% on workloads, stay in control of your spending and a whole lot more. So, you know, you get used to it and the point of it. So to start things off, you're going to click on start free. And once you click on start free, it takes you to the free trial of the console.google.cloud. Uh, okay. So basically this free trial sign up takes you over here and it asks you for these different uh, informations. And the free program uh, can obviously be found using uh, non-preemptible, you know, compute engines. So over here, you're going to choose your account, choose your country, click on agree and continue. Now, obviously, Google Cloud is allowing you to host and set up a free website with a free domain. OK, so for that, it will take a few prices. But right now, it's a free trial that, you know, lasts quite a while. And here you can read put Google Cloud to work with $300 in credit to spend over the 90 days. So it gives you $300 in credit, which you can spend. And then it gives you the payment verification. Uh, so if you have a business account, you can add your business. But if you don't, you don't need to do this. You can add a business name. Once you do that, then you need to add in your account details. OK, so when it comes to actually adding in your account details, what's going to happen in this case is uh, we're just going to go ahead and add all of the necessary details. And once we've done that, I'm just going to go ahead to the billing address and add all the necessary things. So once I've added all the necessary details for my card, I'm going to come here and we're going to click on start free. Once you click on start free, it's going to set up all your billing. And uh, once you set up all the billing, everything should be good to go. Now, if the issue arises that your card gets declined or something like that, uh, you can just automatically go ahead and uh, allow your card to be, uh, you know, activated. And to activate your card, you're just going to need to tell your bank handlers that, hey, uh, I want you to activate my card. You know, you can call them on their helpline uh, because most of the times when you're accessing something like Google Cloud, because it's obviously not something that someone accesses every day. So, yeah, in this case, just go ahead. Uh, like, let's say I'm going to come here, activate my card. Uh, once your card is activated, just go ahead, click on start free. And now you're going to see that my thing is going to work out fine. And don't worry, even if you activate your card, this doesn't mean you're going to get scammed or anything out of it, because obviously you just need to finish your project setup. And once it's properly finished up, it's going to bring you here. You know, no money is going to be cut. And after this, immediately, you can just uh, go ahead and deactivate your card by telling your uh, you know, people at the bank. So once you've deactivated your card, it's going to say, welcome. Your free trial includes $300 in credit to spend over the next 90 days, which best describes your organization or needs. OK, so uh, in my case, you know, I could go a large company, midsize, etc. I'm going to go with startup and click on next. What brought you to Google Cloud? OK, this is also a very important question because uh, whatever you add in what brought you to Google Cloud is going to be used to set up most of the things that you're going to have on your Google Cloud. OK, so in our case, you know, uh, you could say that um, I came to Google Cloud for, let's say, cloud application development or to, you know, uh, let's go with 
other. Let's go with other and I'm going to go with host website. Okay. Now, once you do that, click on next. What are you interested in doing with Google Cloud? Okay. This is also a very important question because once you enter this, it's going to give you different uh, things according to it. So obviously in our case, we're here to host websites. So I'm going to do that and click on next. What best describes your role? So you could be an engineer, CEO, IT manager, developer. I'm going to go with CEO and click on done. And once you go on done, you know, things are going to be a piece of cake to work on from here on out. So just load things in. And as you load things in, it's going to bring you here. It says welcome. Now obviously, you're going to be welcomed over here. And it says you're in free trial. Zero out of $300 credit or used. You can obviously activate your full account by giving the full money. But you get the point. So you are welcomed into the cloud-based format over here and it says recommend based on your interest you know web mobile games storage etc you can deploy a three-tier web app and create a dynamic web app with python and javascript you can also create a serverless uh you could say e-commerce platform and this is mainly what we're here for because we want to create an e-commerce but the main things that come around is to basically host a website for yourself so you can host a website by basically creating a database or a compute engine. So to create a compute engine, you can just come here. What this compute engine will allow you to do is basically it's going to allow you to create a host. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's going to allow you to create a website using the cloud. So once you have the compute engine API, uh, it you know creates and runs virtual machines that run on Google Cloud Platform. And... Uh, and to allow yourself to do this, you know, you're just going to enable it. And once everything is enabled, uh, you know, there's different websites that you can host, you know, WordPress that actually runs on Compute Engine. You can deploy WordPress, a website creation and publishing platform to Google Cloud with a range of hosting options using your Compute Engine. And these different things are done using Compute Engine. Like while my Compute Engine is being enabled, I can also show you this over here. So as you can see, Google Cloud Web Hosting. You're going to come down here. Cloud web hosting services allow you WordPress on Compute Engine. That's why I was adding Compute Engine because you get blogs, simple websites, best for low to medium traffic, open source content management. Then you have LAMP stack on Compute Engine and a whole lot of other providers. So overall, really, you know, fun and really easy stuff to get your head around. And that is basically how you're going to host websites. So all you're going to do is get Compute Engine. After getting Compute Engine, just deploy it to your WordPress in the easiest, most simplest way possible. And that is how you are going to be creating, setting up, and hosting websites on your Google Cloud. So yeah, basically that's about it. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video and you found it informational, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making more for you. But yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching till the end and I will see all of you wonderful people next time. Goodbye.